Welcome back to my channel, Nina here. I am so excited for today, for this uh, unboxing, so to speak. Um, it is an item that everyone is required to own right now. And it's something that, um, yeah, I was really excited to order. And unfortunately, um, it, after I ordered it, it did get some bad reviews. So let's check out and see if these reviews are legit some of you might already know what i'm talking about but of course it came from the disney store i have yet to open these so before i uh, ordered these i ordered them the day that disney released them and disney wanted you to measure your face and see what size you needed to get so here we go i'm taking them out First things first, of course, is the receipt. I did get three packs. I got all the same size because when I measured, me and the kids were all within the same range. Of course, now I'm hearing other stories, but we're gonna get into that. So anyway, they were $20 a pack and you get four of them. Do you know what I'm talking about yet? Masks! How cute are these? These are the Star Wars masks. I got two packs of the Star Wars, and then I got um, the assorted Pixar mix, which is super cute because it has Forky, and I just love Pixar. So anyway, we uh, measured back when they first came out, you needed to measure from the tip of your nose to the bottom of your chin. And me and the kids were roughly like a quarter of an inch difference. So I said, so then I determined, let's just all get medium and we can swap out the masks or whatever. So since they have shipped to some people and they now carrying them in Disney Springs, they're getting really bad reviews for being too small. So now if you try to order them, I don't know if you guys can see this, Disney actually wants you to measure in two different ways. Now it was not like this when I ordered, you were just to measure from nose to chin. Now they want you to measure from nose to chin and then it looks like from ear to nose. So anyway, like I said, I was roughly at the cusp. I might have been like four and a half. And I know it does say to order up. Maybe Disney already knew they were too small. I don't know. But let's get started on these. So as you guys know, I have two kids. I have one kid who is eight and one kid who is 11 so let's see if these fit me or my children i do tend to have a smaller of a face frame which is why i didn't go for the large because i didn't want it to be super baggy um of course my husband would have been a large so first things first is they come four in a pack we're gonna take them out first one is baby yoda how cute is that there's just a cardboard insert. So first one is Baby Yoda. Second one is R2-D2. Third one is just a Star Wars insignia kind of, I mean, they're super cute masks. I really want them to work. And then this is the classic um, A New Hope, you know, from the poster. And they all appear to be white on the back. So yeah, and it says medium, 100% polyester, and then 100% cotton on the back, blah, blah, blah. Doesn't really say how to wash them, but this is the Baby Yoda. This is the medium. I'm trying out a new camera, guys. This is the new Sony. It's focusing a lot better than my old camera, which is super sweet. So shall we see if it fits me? Oh my God, yes. Too tight for an adult. And like I said, I have a small adult face, but you can see it's like barely fitting back there, which I can see now why they want you to measure from here to here. I mean, it fits. In a pinch, I could wear it. Um, 
but I really had to pull on this. And I know some people were saying that um, you could just extend a little loop or something at the edge of this thing and still wear it, like maybe a hair tie or something, and maybe I'll mess around with that. But it is a little disappointing that um, out of the box it doesn't fit me. And these are pre-washed, so they're not pre-washed. So I don't know if these are going to shrink or not. But again, on me, an adult, the medium fits, but it's not not very roomy it is what it is it feels very hot in there probably would prefer a bigger one and you definitely want to cut this off because it kind of gets stuck on your face while you're doing it so but they are super cute so if you can find them that fit you know I say why you know go for these uh, like I said they do sell them at Disney Springs so maybe I will purchase a large when I get there um, and see how that goes. But why don't we bring out the kids and see if these fit my children. That way you know if they fit your kids. So let me go get them and we're going to try them on the kiddos. Hang tight. Okay guys, we're back. This is my 11 year old Lillian. <laughs> she is going to try on one of the Star Wars masks for us to see how they fit. Again, she kind of follows my face frame. She's a little bit on the smaller side. Uh, for her face. So let's see. Go ahead and try this on, babe. Okay. All right. So was it easy to actually get on? Yes, very easy. Okay. And what do you think? Is it comfortable? It's very comfortable, though I think it cuts off my vision a bit. Okay. So um, what she means is, is that it's coming a little too high up here for her. Um, it's getting too close to her eyeball. Maybe do a little side view. Turn your head a little. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's move the camera over to you. There we go, a little noise. All right, so would you wear it? Yes, I would, but I'd probably want to like safety pin this down a bit. Okay, so a mask with a safety pin doesn't sound like a lot of fun. So what we've been finding at least, I don't know if you guys um, are finding the same thing, is that the children's masks are kind of a hard fit because every kid's face is different. So if needed, she could wear this. She does have um, plenty of space. Again, this is the medium for her because she's been wearing custom masks made by my mother, um, which have the dip, you know, like they, they dip. She's able to see better because it has a dip by the eye. So just something to consider. I think in a pinch, these are great, um, but I don't know if, uh, I mean, for $5 each, why not, right? So, um, Let's try it on the eight-year-old. Let's go get him. All right, guys, here is the eight-year-old. He does have glasses, so for him, that is um, a situation we have to deal with. All right, Henry, um, try this on. He always has problems putting them on, and then he has to adjust because of his glasses. What do you think? It's kind of, like, as it looks like it gives me more air. Okay. And it feels like big on you. Okay, so he's saying it feels a little bit big compared to what my mother has custom made for him. Um, and uh, it's fogging up your glasses a little bit. Let's put your glasses over the top. You breathing deep? How do you feel? Okay, I think they are still fogging up his glasses. Again, I think in a pinch, these work. Um, what do you think? Could you wear this? Yeah, it just has like emergency ones, just in case. Okay. Do you still prefer the ones Grandma makes you? I prefer the one that Grandma makes. Okay, so I hope this review helps you guys. So I absolutely love these. I think these are cute. These are a style that I actually prefer for my face, but my kids, because they've gotten used to the ones my mother makes them, they do like the ones that are kind of custom made to fit around um, the eyes and the nose. But I think if you're in a pinch and you need a mask for five bucks, like, why not? This totally fits him if needed. It fit my daughter. It did fit me if needed. I don't know if I'd want to wear it all day. Um, what are you doing? I'm just letting down. All right, let's let him go and we'll chat in a minute. Okay. All right, so now that I got rid of the kids, what I was saying was is that my mother early on had made us masks that were kind of this accordion style. 
um, but we were having issues with, again, it getting too close to the eyeball and we needed to be able to see, especially like at the grocery store. So then we got masks that kind of have like a dip. Um, I may or may not, oh, I have one right here. So here's one of the ones that she made me. You see the difference? It dips down. So I do prefer this style in terms of um, being able to see. So I will definitely wear this one at the store. But um, again, it's custom for my face. It was measured for my face as these. Oh my gosh, this can't even fit. <laughs> see how these are really close to the eye and that's the part my kids didn't like. Um, so I think in a pinch, they fit. They absolutely fit for $5 a mask. Why not have some on hand? I'm probably gonna keep at least a four pack. I am gonna call Disney and ask them to see what they can do. I have heard that so many people have complained about the size that the Disney store has been giving refunds. I don't know that. So make sure you guys um, subscribe and like this video and check um, the comments or the link below because I'll let you know if I was able to return these or at least get a refund. Um, I would open the Pixar ones for you guys, but you can see what they look like online. I just don't want to open them and not be able to return them because it was 20 bucks. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's my take. A little too small for me. I might get larges when I'm at a Disney Springs. For the kids, they're not their favorite style to wear, but in a pinch, absolutely. I found them uh, breathable. A uh, light enough weight. I like that it was um, it was just comfy. So anyway, I said I ran and got some hair ties. I'm curious if you take the hair tie and you loop, if it will extend the mask. So we're gonna do this right now. I haven't even tried this yet. <laughs> it's all happening for you guys on the video. So what I'm thinking is is I can take the hair tie and put that around my ear instead maybe not maybe nina's crazy and uh that's yeah that's not gonna work so you need a bigger circle than a hair tie it was worth a shot guys it was worth a shot so anyway yeah make sure uh you guys double check because i will let you know down below if i was able to return these and absolutely i would love for you guys to like this video please subscribe come back for more we did um i am uploading a video where we actually shopped at joanne fabrics and we got fabric to make our own masks because as you heard my kids do prefer the ones that my mother makes so anyway yeah i hope this helps some of you decide either what size to get or if these masks are worth it they are 100 percent adorable but i know there's a ton of ladies on like etsy.com who are making um, super great masks as well. So just another option for you guys to consider. So anyway, mahalo for watching. Nina, out. Oh.